Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to my shop. Uh, remember that whole projects free projects thing? Well, somebody saw my video the other day of fixing that front axle and said, hey, I got one of those that needs fixed. So, here it is. A little bit different. This is out of a, a uh, older and bigger tractor. And this one's only got the, the one pin hole wallered out. And it's not too bad. Uh, it's not got near the play that the other one had, so we'll be able to get by with a smaller bushing. Now, this one's a little bit trickier uh, because they got to line up better on this bore. The other one, we were cutting both bores. So we just kind of trued it up roughly on the casting as best it could because there wasn't any, any bore to go off of left that was. Uh, anything you could work with so just split the difference of how much caster was and put it in the middle and that's how I did it. Uh, this one here it's got line up with this hole because this hole's still good for the pin. So I'm gonna use the mill column to true the face. Just kind of a law of averages thing again. Uh, there's nothing indicatable on that side. Uh, to get true off of. So that's how we're going to do that. And I'll run a bar through and pick up this hole and get it centered up and I'll see about getting that uh, this other hole bored out and the bushing made and get the pin back in it. Uh, the bushing will be a little bit trickier on this one too because it's got to have a groove in it because uh, the grease needs to be up here, but the fitting's down here. So the way this is actually made is it's got a channel inside that the, the grease has to go around the bushing and then grease the top side before it comes down. So pretty good design until it gets wore to the point where uh, the groove gets blocked off and then you're not greasing nothing. So that's why you gotta jack the tractor up and grease it. Anyway, I'm gonna get to lining this up and uh, we'll get to cutting.
Okay, so that's the boring work. Now it's time to make a bushing to put in here. Looks like there must have been some slightly irregular wear. We got uh, a little more on this side than that side, but uh, according to the bar, it was lined up within a thousandths, and the, the front was squared off to the mill within that much too. So anyway, they're in line, and that's what matters. So. I'm sure this doesn't wear evenly once the bushing gets beat out. And probably whichever way you turn the most, it wears that side. But let's uh, get a bushing made and put it in here and cut the groove in it, and this job be done. Okay, so I've got the outside of this turned to the correct size to go in the housing aboard. So, did this on a piece of bar and then sawed it off. So that's what true it up. And then got to drill it out for this bushing and put the grease groove in it. Okay, so Bailey here has approved this job. He's giving it the tails up. There's the bushing installed with the factory bushing in it. And I checked it and it greases around like it's supposed to. So 
Another big job bites the dust. I know, uh, Kilroy, he'd be proud of this. He likes to see the big girls doing the work, so I'll give this one as a shout out to James. Uh, I'm sure most of you already subscribed to his channel, but if not, you should. I think he's finally going to get to working on his pacemaker, uh, which happens to be a lathe, not something for his heart. And uh, maybe he'll get it going here pretty soon, and he can have something to run like the Monarch. So, that's it. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing.